Hi everyone, good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Today is Friday, so we decided to make a spinach dip. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll know when I make another video. <laughs> Hi y'all, okay, so the first step is to boil your spinach. And this is actually two containers of spinach that we already have boiled. We're waiting for more water to boil. And this is the spinach that we used. And it's an organic baby spinach, as you can see. And this is the size of the container. So it's a, it's a lot. But of course, with spinach, you know how it wilts down, so it's not that much spinach. So that's two containers right here in this strainer. So we're going to boil the rest of the spinach and show you the next step. Okay, so I added another pot. This was the first one I was waiting on. So that's the third container of the spinach that's getting started. And this is the the second container, or actually the fourth container, um, is boiling. So that's gonna boil on down and uh, using my Rachel Ray pot, you wanna see a review on that. Go to my recent video before this one and um, you'll see an unboxing on that. So I'll be back to show you the next step. All right, we finally have all the spinach boiled and it ended up being four containers and this is what we ended up with so i have this tray outlined with some paper napkins and i'm going to put whoop, the spinach on top so we get all of the moisture out So that's my son and he's spreading the spinach around so all of the moisture can come out. So we're going to do this right here and um, put some paper towels on top so we could get as much moisture out as possible. Okay, so we're just going to... We're just gonna dab the extra moisture out, get as much out as possible. And this is the only way, we know how to do it. So if you know a better way to do it, leave a comment below. But um, this is what we're doing right now. Just getting all the extra moisture out. And as you can see, it's looking a little um, dry. It's not gonna be completely dry, of course, but yeah. You can see how wet the napkin is. You know how it is on the side. So we'll be back and show you the next step. Okay, so right now my son is cutting up the spinach. I guess you could do this process before, but uh, we always do it after because it's just quicker. And I'm um, going to chop it up so it won't be, you know, the big leaves of spinach when you go to get your dip out. So we're just going to chop this up, cut this up some. And... Show you the next step. Okay, this is the spinach cut up. So you can see what it looks like. And I'm gonna show you the ingredients so we can get started. Okay, here's the ingredients we will be using to mix the spinach dip. And um, as you can see, I have artichoke hearts and your cream cheese leave it out so it can become room temperature you don't want to use cold right out out of the refrigerator cream cheese and i like the crumble feta cheese i like to put that on top of my everybody don't like that but i like feta cheese and you know we, we're going to use a little sour cream and, and um, a little mayo but these are the cheeses that we're going to use for the dip. So that's all of the ingredients we're going to use and just canned um, artichoke hearts. 
okay so that's that and i'll be back to show you and of course we're going to add a little garlic powder onion powder and some salt and pepper to taste so i'll be back all right so right now we have taken the artichoke hearts out of the can and we're just gonna give them a cut they already came quartered like that so we're just gonna chop them up some more and be back for the next step okay so in the big bowl we have some spinach the artichoke cut up and the room temperature cream cheese and we're going to add our seasoning and our cheeses and we're going to mix it up and i'll show you what it look like and also i forgot to mention um a little of the lime and lemon we're going to put that in as well okay out of a 24 ounce bag of mozzarella cheese we use maybe a little under half and right now we're going to add over half over half so we're going to add the swiss cheese and that's a eight ounce bag and he put like maybe half of that and the creamy Mexican cheese, eight ounce bag, about half of that. And we're just gonna, you know, eyeball it and see. And if we need more, then we'll add more. All right, we have the mozzarella cheese. We have the Mexican creamy milk. We have the Italian cheese and Swiss cheese. And it was like maybe eight ounce bag, for these three and for the mozzarella it was like a um what is this a 24 ounce so we use like half so far half and as we mix in if we need more um we'll add more so this is how it's coming along just putting everything all the ingredients in a bowl and we're going to add a little mayo next all right we're adding some pepper right now we added the salt already we're going to add the onion powder and the garlic powder and I'll be back. Okay, right now we're going to squeeze half a lime and half of lemon and if we need to add the other half, we'll do a taste test and we'll add the other half and just a note once you mix this up you would like to taste it because um if it doesn't taste good right now once you mix it up once you bake it it won't taste good so make sure after you mix all the ingredients together you like the way it tastes okay i just wanted to show you a little bit of we mixing it all uh, the ingredients and how it's coming along it's going to take a minute to make sure everything is incorporated so everything will kind of be as evenly as possible. So as you bite it, you get a little bit of everything. And this is how it's coming out so far. It's looking good. Okay, so we did a little taste test and uh, we did end up adding, I don't know if you can see, some red pepper flakes just for a little kick we like spicy food but it's not gonna really be spicy just a little bit and i did end up adding my famous what i love so much my trader joe's 21 seasoning salute i put that in a lot of things so anyway yeah that's my own special addition to the dip so uh, can you see the little the little added seasoning so we're going to mix that up Okay, we're going to add a little sour cream. I don't know, maybe that's like maybe a three-fourths to maybe a quarter cup of sour cream. Okay, so we did a taste test and we're going to add some more mozzarella cheese. That never hurts anyone. The more cheese, the better. So anyway, yes, we added some more cheese. Like I said, you can add ingredients as you go. It's better to not have enough and be able to add it than have too much and you can't take it away. So yeah, we have the mozzarella cheese and we're gonna mix that up. 
Okay, this is how it's looking in. As you can see, when we added the sour cream, it's creamier and it's so much easier to stir. So that's how that's looking. Okay, so we ended up adding a the other half of the lemon. And this is how it looks. Everything is all mixed in. And let me bring it a little closer. This is how it looks. All the cheese and then we're gonna put it in the oven and let it bake. For how long? How long are we gonna let it bake? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. We'll, we'll try 30 minutes and we'll see. Okay, here we go. We have two pans. And the pan size that I used is this right here. And that was for four um, packages of spinach. Four of the big bins of spinach. Cut down and with the cheeses and um, Okay, here you go. Almost done. Two pans. And this is the size, the type of pan that I use. I just use what I had. All right, and we're gonna add the cheese to the top. Okay, we have a combination of the cheeses that we topped on the top. Okay, we put the Swiss cheese and all the other cheeses on the top. And this one is the feta cheese only because me and one of my sons love feta cheese. And we did this one without. We're gonna bake it now. All right, this is the finished product. This is the one with the feta cheese. Like I said, me and my son love feta cheese. So this is one with the feta cheese. And this is the one without the feta topping. And we had it in the oven for a total of 30 minutes. And this is the finished product. And I'm gonna plate some and show you what it looks like. See you in the next video. Oh, yeah. oh.